from Indianapolis. For those of you watching in El Paso, we welcome you to Indy for the first time. Thanks for joining us for Indy 11 Soccer. Brem Sumaro, quick one touch, Whoa. left foot, Augie Williams. Brad, that's a shot on goal in less than 30 seconds. Well, I'll tell you Foster could not get there, but Augie Williams does. Has Romario Williams to his left. Slides it across, slots it home. Right in the 11, in minute number 12. They're on the front foot tonight. It is time to cue the smoke in Indianapolis. Great ball from Augie Williams. You look, and sometimes this stuff is set up from earlier plays. So they found Augie Williams in the box a couple times early in this match, and he's taken the shot. And so at that point, you know, wait, the defender, everybody has got to focus on Augie Williams. You look at everything collapsing around him. Romario pulls Augie Williams out of that wall and gives a little bit more. Sending here to save by Hunter Salt. Used every bit of that 6-7 frame. Did the native of Alaska. One at the end of September, a 1-0 victory against the Indy 11 a season ago. It's a great ball. Opportunity here with a left foot that was scuffed, frankly, by Lucas Stauffer. Right, he had it. So while the Indy 11 start to build from the back, Romario Williams, the flick. Blake Williams, a blast, and heads up into wow. BYB. Was not a shot on target, but one that... Uh, Williams, as in Romario. Augie Williams making a route one Great run. Ball. Gets it to him in stride. One on none. And Williams missed it. Position, but perfect delivery. Rivas on the cross, but nobody's sitting exactly back post. But Stanley didn't put that where he wanted to. Coronado. Dang. Not on target. Wall Saul over his English Football League career has played at four different tiers of the English football system. Speaking of a native Englishman, Jack Blake. Up against the back line, and Brim drops back into that spot like he's been trained to do it. Foster trying to find a window. There's one. Diving save by Jamali Waits. Wow. Another on-target blast from Blake. Both keepers now feel they may have robbed one. Able to shield him away from the ball. Blake finds Romario Williams, has Augie Williams, Backside. and has Foster to his right. Ball knocked forward. Foster could not get it past Wade. Wow. Another opportunity left the doorstep by the Indy 11. For El Paso, but literally a heads up play by Quinn squelched the opportunity for El Paso Locomotive. Again, you got Malik on the backside. And Jack Blake saw it, and there is Foster. Foster this time maybe in more of a centering role. Nah, this score. Malik Great Foster goal. gets the goal. His first in Indy 11 uniform. There is the second goal for the Indy 11. Two goal advantage for the home squad. Great goal. Great find to push that ball out wide for him. For Foster, he had four tallies for the switchbacks before he made the move at the end of August. Again, he has been a part of the attack for the Indy 11 repeatedly. Listen, this takes weeks if you're driving across Texas on a lawnmower. And if you wonder why I made that reference, Brad has done that before. Williams, as in Romario. Aiden Quinn cannot slide it past Jamali Waits in Hyatt Place and Hyatt House, downtown Indianapolis. So Miles Lyons on the middle of your screen. Ricardo Zacharia in this league at the age of 24. Blake Romario Williams. 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 Wait, does it again. Blake dispossessed for a moment. Somehow got it back from Navarez. And Navarez in a bad way on the turf. He'll hop up now. Movement, good overlapping run. Williams, one touch, and could not lift it up and overweight to get it successful. You know where I heard that? Me. Exactly, just yeah. moments ago. Yeah, I ran out of interesting things to say eight years ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I say a lot of things, but they're all repetitive. So Foster out, Martinez in, Malik, tremendous tonight. Elliot Collier down to the mix. 
My favorite line about Elliott this year from Coach McCauley, if we don't know what Elliott is going to do, the other team doesn't know either. He's embraced that super sub roll. There's Cabrera left wow. foot. And Saltz again spoils it. Great job from Cabrera. Uh, Mario Williams does not connect. There's Wutton. And this has been solid from top to bottom for the Indy 11. The header! This is something Indy 11 fans haven't seen in months. Some breathing room tonight in downtown Indianapolis. Well, you look to at Elliot Collier. I don't know what his goal to minutes ratio is. And again, you may say, listen, El Paso is the last place team in the West. This is what you're supposed to do. And there would be some truth to that. But again, Indy has really struggled. Wenzani! Didn't miss that by much. Well, you look to if Hunter Salt doesn't make the save very much mathematically alive for one of those playoff spots. So that's a six-point game. Not only do you get your three, but you rob somebody behind you of closing the gap on you. Giveaway by Hayden White. Opportunity, Calvillo. Hunter Salt. You clicked offensively. Right now, defensively, it's gone very, very well for you. Getting good numbers behind the ball. You're making it difficult. But the one thing you cannot have happen here is you want to keep the clean. And that does not happen. Before you can finish. Sheet. Sheet. Two E's. Zacharias with the goal. And it's now 3-1. Again for El Paso. They had had that three-match streak of not allowing a goal. It scored just one time. In fact, they had scored just once in their last four matches. And as we have talked about, just their 20th tally of the season. It is still an uphill climb, but they are one goal closer. Yeah, great buildup. A couple of missed. Not enough in that. And frankly, now you'll get a card being shown for descent, and that'll be a second yellow. And Coronado has earned a red for his second yellow tonight. So Indy will play a man up for just a slightly smaller stretch of time than their last home match. Season, you know, even though you've you had a coach and change and you brought in a quality coach there's still the frustration of you know having a, a coaching change the games haven't gone your way the ball hasn't gone in the net end of the season those the games the little things that normally wouldn't bother you tough tumble he took take a look and it was awkward too it wasn't just the physicality of it but you get landed on and sometimes when that shoulder's underneath you he only had one player that was nearing a yellow card situation. That was Callum Chapman Page. We can talk about that in two weeks because this one is in the past tense. This is one that the Indy 11 absolutely needed.